Okay, hi. Uh, we're going to have a quick tutorial of how to apply Twixter to uh, achieve a slow motion effects in Premiere Pro. Um, so we've got a couple of clips here, and we've got a long shot here of a woman walking up a dirt track, and then we've got another uh, slightly closer shot, a uh, three quarter shot when walking into the frame and then stopping so just general walking shots and what we're going to do here is we're going to apply the twixer effect to slow these down and create the um, feeling of uh, slow motion in these clips now uh, twixter is fairly simple to use and it sits in your effects uh, bin in premiere pro and you'll see here you've got three ones the one you want to be using is twixter pro and you can simply drag and drop this on what you wanted to use it on now there's a little bit of uh, a funny thing about premiere pro is that you can't uh, or effects can't change the length of clips so if you put twixter pro on a clip like we've just done now and then we go to our effects control and we then adjust the speed of the clip so so we want to go for slow-mo we're going to slow it down five times so we're going to go for 20 percent of the original speed now what you will see will happen is that the clip hasn't actually changed in length because an effect can't change the clip so rather than the clip getting five times as long what it's done is it just kind of shifted around to the beginning of the clip and we haven't got the desired effect at all okay so it's no good so we'll go ahead and we'll remove that from the clip and we'll just delete that Okay, so what we have to do is create a sequence. So if we create a new sequence, and there's ones that I've, uh, I've already created here, so uh, I'll just recreate that. So if we go to a new sequence, um, say you want to keep it the same as your uh, footage settings. Uh, so this was shot on a DSLR um, at 1080p in 24 frames a second. So we'll say okay to that. And then if you find your clip that you want to work with, um, in my case it's this one here and if I go into my sequence and then we drag this clip into the sequence now what we want to do is we want to make this long enough so however much we're going to slow it down the sequence length is going to be at least that long so the best way to do this is to drop a clip at the start and then drop another clip at the end now it doesn't really matter what this clip is it's just making sure that the sequence is long enough so now what you can do obviously within Premiere is you can put sequences within sequences. So if I now bring this new sequence down, well you can see it's really, really long. Okay, and what we can do is apply the Twixter Pro uh, effect to the sequence. And now we can change our speed. So if we wanted to go to five times slow motion and go 20%, and what you'll see is that our clips now stay in the same place now this hasn't rendered but I've got one that already has so if I just delete that and we go and have a look here we'll now have a look at the clip here we go so this is a clip with five times slow motion and you'll see here that we've got effective quite effective slow motion can make that full screen just have a look, little bit closer look at it now Twix has certain limitations and on this clip it's working pretty effectively. You'll see if you look very closely, I don't know how well it'll come out on the web, but you'll see that there are bits of aliasing and uh, kind of kind of weird things going on slightly. Um, but overall it's very effective. Now Twix I find actually works best when you've got a um, everything's in deep it, it, everything's in focus so you've got a deep depth of field and with this shot you'll see here right from the the foreground uh to the background everything's pretty much in focus there and um, especially this this track that that the uh, subject is walking along um and twixter works with sort of edge contrast so if there's a good contrast between edges it, it can recreate those um those pixels quite effectively so that's when you'll find that it works well. Where it where it starts to fall down is if you've got shallow depth of field or things that are blurred. Also, if you've got any, a lot of movement, so if you've got someone running with their legs and their arms and clothes moving, there's obviously a lot going on there and, and that can confuse it. So it's not as effective uh, on that type of uh, movement. So if we just come back 
and we'll just have a look at the other clip that we had so we've got this clip here and if we have a look at that we've got the woman walking into the frame and then coming to a halt um, so once again if we look at this particular shot we've got a reasonable um, deep depth of field you see that the background has started to go out of focus here but certainly the area of the frame that she's walking in uh, is is in focus what you see is she's walking past the background that's out of focus so it'll be interesting to see how Twixer works on this particular clip so as before I've got one already set up and here is my sequence so I'll just show you how that one works so once again I've just created a new sequence I've got the clip at the beginning and I've thrown on another clip at the end just to make sure that the sequence is long enough for the effect that I'm going to slow it down by so if I go back to my master sequence and you'll see here I've got it already dropped on so let's have a look at this one here we slowed it down to 50% so it's half of normal rate so let's go ahead and play this and let's have a look so pretty effective but if we have a look a little closely if we come back in now have a look closely at the subject you do see some weird stuff going on around her uh, her border um, if you like because of the background being slightly out of focus so it, it's struggling to recreate that um, but for what is you know only a couple of seconds shot um, you know we could probably cut it in about here and the rest of it is pretty effective and it's just giving it that added sense of sort of emotion or uh, suspense with the slow motion there so it can be used to uh, to really great effect okay so hopefully that um, that gives you some ideas of, of how Twixter works and how to apply it um, it really is a lot of trial and error so playing around with the speed um, is, is is going to be something that you want to do to, to find out what works better once you've got these clips back into uh, your timeline what you can then do is just treat uh, sorry once you've got the sequences back into your master sequence you just trim them as you would any other clip so I can just come along and I can chop this down um, any way I want to just have the frames that I want and then I can use that I can just delete the original clip that I had or replace it and whatever so it's just that extra step of creating a new sequence one thing I can recommend is creating a bin keeping all your footage organized so create one with your Twixter sequences in label them up and then when you put them into your, your project you're going to be able to find them and, and drop them in fairly easily all right any questions uh, feel free to pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you thanks very much mm -hmm.